What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm going to be playing a game called The Observed. It's time to get your urban exploration hat on because we're going to urban explore an abandoned middle school. Let's play. And here we are. Oh god. I walk very slow if I don't hit the run button. Okay. So far already just looking at the outside of this place. Very spooky. Very well done. Left click to interact. Okay, I'm going in. And how convenient, there's a flashlight right before me. This will come in handy. It sure will. How do I get it? How do I pick that up? There we go. All right, I'm effing to turn on the flashlight. Don't really appreciate the fact that the door closed behind me, but there's not really much I can do about it, so I'm just gonna continue. Left click on notes to take them. Uh, tab to open inventory, and then check the notes. Janitor note one. 0922-1992. The days don't seem to be getting shorter here. Hopefully one of the places I applied at calls because I'm not sure how much longer I can handle cleaning up after children day in and day out. Whatever, money is money, I guess. It seems that I can't be as lazy as before either. Faculty are starting to complain about half-ass cleaning. They haven't singled me out, but it's only a matter of time before the other janitors report me. Damn. And as the complaints are coming in, of course, I have to go and lose my damn key. I don't have the energy to manage the position of these tiny ass keys at all times. They're handing out spares and I'm going to take a couple. Hide one somewhere so I never have to worry about losing shit again. Well, maybe you should get yourself a key ring. I don't know. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Can I go in here? All right, that was the sound of a door opening, but nothing came of it. Oh, this does open. Okay. I was pressing E instead of clicking the mouse. Didn't realize. Oh, would you look at this? There's actually still a working phone in there? I don't really understand how, but... I guess some of the lights are working, so it kind of makes sense. Is this door even openable? No, it's not. Not like it would matter anyway. I can't seem to jump, so let's continue. See what maybe this room is about? Nope, that's locked. All right, okay. It's as straightforward as it can get. Are any of these lockers openable? That's the other question. Doesn't seem like it. All right, well, bathrooms are locked. I think it's leading me there because there's a light on over there unless before I make my way there, I'm gonna just double check, make sure I'm not being an idiot. Oh, there's the library. So I must have to get a key in order to get in there. This is cool. I played a lot of these Unreal Engine horror games, like indie games, and a lot of them seem to be a little bit on the bland side. This one definitely has a lot more detail to it. It actually feels genuinely creepy. Okay, anything under the stairs, first and foremost. Oh, hey, a doll. Why would you be there? Why would that be there? Who would put that there? Okay, I definitely heard something over there. Janitor room. I'm most likely gonna need a key for that. Clearly I'm not walking over that way, so I guess I gotta go upstairs. It's the only course of action that makes sense right now. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of detail here. What? Oh, a doll. Another little baby doll, okay. There's a lot of stuff going, oh. Okay. All right. Hello. Hey, I know that doll. That's the unmarked doll from Pacify. All right, let's keep it moving. I guess. I don't really want to, but I guess I have to. Walking in this classroom. Ooh. Ooh. Very spook. What about this? Can't seem to open that. All right, let's check over here. What? the hell is going on here? This is weird. This is so weird. What is this? Say? Oh, okay, that opened. That's nice. I don't know why, but it did. What does this note say? 11-12-1992. I think I fucked up. I hit all those keys and now there are reports of someone trespassing inside the school at night. Did somebody find them? If the faculty finds out I was stashing keys, they will fire me on the spot. I don't want to work in shit jobs like this for the rest of my life, so I need to keep positive references. My lips are sealed. As for whoever is breaking into the school, they better not make a mess when they steal shit. I clean up enough trash as it is. Apparently the security cams caught him and he's some bald guy who walks around in a weird lab coat. What a freak. All things considered, though, I should probably quit. It's only a matter of time until my slacking gets attended to and the missing keys get traced back to me. Yeah, you stupid idiot, you gotta be more organized. 
My god. This is nuts. What kind of storage is this? I heard she's running and then a bunch of other indistinguishable whispers. Not sure why there would be storage directly next to a classroom, but whatever. Can't really complain too much. This is just a maze of chairs. Oh my god, I thought the- oh god, dude. I just saw a pile of chairs and thought it was a person. I'm just trying to check around to see if maybe there's something I could pick up. But it doesn't really seem like it. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go into this doorway. Kind of reluctant. <gasps> oh my god, dude. Don't know where you came from or how. But you did, alright. Gonna keep moving. Gonna keep going. Alright, well, here I am at the library. This surely won't be spooky at all. There is so much detail in this game. This is really impressive. And also extremely scary. Terrifying, even. I think the lack of music is doing me a favor. It's really selling this whole thing. Making it feel more realistic. I'm glad I was able to come in here. Not gonna lie. Even though it's definitely a spooky situation. Once I saw this room, I kind of really wanted to come in here because... Yes? Do you have something to say to me? You could say it to my face, pal. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe don't. Any other reason for me to come in here? Other than for some disembodied voice to try and call me? Oh. Oh. Okay, here's a key. I got the janitor key. Nice. Okay, nothing else for me here. Whoa. Okay. This is different now. This is a lot different now. It seems a f a quite a bit more organized. To say the least. This is clearly the exit. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Gonna go to the janitor's office. Oh! <laughs> Leave. Hurry. Right. See ya. See ya later. Is that even possible? Can I even do that? Is that even a thing? Cause it told it told me, and I'm I'm gonna do it if I can. I can't. Well, oh, uh, no on the wall. I appreciate you looking out for me and telling me to leave, but it's not really a possibility right now. Genuinely creeped out. I'm going to the janitor's room. Enough is enough. Right click on the door. Okay, here we go. I'm in here now. Close. Can I close you behind me? Yeah. Okay, I feel a little safer. This doesn't seem like it's gonna work out for me. I don't know why. Yep, I knew exactly that was gonna happen. All right, well, I seem to be in some abandoned basement. Very not cool. Why is there a bed down here? What is happening in the school? I no longer have a flashlight. That doesn't make sense. Is there another one I can use? What is this? Oh, that looks like one of the assets from... What the hell is this supposed to be? Yeah, it looks like one of the statues from, uh... That other game that I played. What was it called? Die Trying. That's what it was. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Um, it, things seem to have changed very quickly. Oh. Well. Not too sure why the bloody footprints start here when the puddle ends here. Oh my god! Uh, duh. Okay. Here I am. Alright, I hear the siren head sounds of sirens past and things that never last. I don't know what I just said, but I said it. Are there multiple ways to get here? Oh, here's a doll. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Alright, I'm gonna continue. I guess. Anything else gonna jump out at me? Thank God. Somebody knock? Nobody home, apparently.
All right. <laughs> What? Thank God it starts me off over here. All right, I'm out of here. Man. I'm just gonna keep going. Please don't attack me anymore. Please don't kill me. Okay. Ooh, ooh, no thank you. I don't like your laugh. I don't like it. I can't see. That's going to be a problem for me. Oh, okay. This is open again. Not too sure what's going on here, but now that door is open. Okay. I'm just going to keep running. Hopefully the laughing maniac doesn't approach me again. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. Okay. I can barely see. He took my flashlight away. I don't know why. Maybe it broke after that fall. Are these toilet seats? Oh. It's you. You all right? No. You don't seem to be okay. Ugh, and the way you're shaking your head at me, I'm assuming that's a response to my question, are you all right? All right, well, you have a fun sleep. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. What is this now? Did I just get the electric chair? I'm gonna reiterate something that I said as I was playing this, and that's the fact that I've played other Unreal Engine indie horror games before, and I feel like very few of them stand out to me. But this one in particular, this was really good. The level of detail within the school was just really, really good. There are other games that I've played that deal with abandoned places and they don't really feel like the place they're supposed to be. I don't know if that really makes sense, but you have to capture the essence of a place using the details that you can. And the developer of this game did exactly that. I really liked this. While the ending was a bit more abrupt than I would have hoped, I still very much enjoyed my time playing this. And if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down below in the description for you. And that's going to be it for me here today. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you did, and don't be afraid to leave me a comment as well. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel and you want to catch a new video every single day of the week, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.